Greetings and a warm welcome to an incredibly captivating subject. We extend our heartfelt welcome to the Matrix's Shiva and Jonathan. Indeed, today we are delving into an exceptionally enthralling topic. One topic that has received little discussion, if any, in general. And for us, it is actually the most important subject in order to be able to leave the Matrix. In this regard, we have acquired a substantial amount of insights which we are eager to share with you today. In our report today, I would like to remind you that we previously presented a video discussing the role of extras. It's important to note that we are currently situated within a computer-generated reality. During our discussion, we also touched upon the topic of extras, which can be likened to tangible holograms that serve as part of the backdrop in the scene. In films, for example, extras are often hired to fill the background, known as extras or background actors. In a cafe or in another outdoor scene, that's where people often come extras used. We then proceeded to categorize the extras so that they are not always exclusively extras. There are also others who work in the backdrop and continue to ensure that a creator's essence exists within a specific reality. The situation in which it is exposed is being reaffirmed, or the extras are attempting to depict a specific reality in order for the creative soul to accept it as real. In our discussion, we also touched upon the topic of guardians, for instance. Guardians are individuals who are tasked with the responsibility of ensuring the safety and security of a particular entity. Figures in our matrix who ensure that that one does not reach a higher state of consciousness. So as soon as a guard notices that you are at a higher level state of consciousness in a dissociative state, they try, of course, at that moment, the creator soul emerges. The sole responsibility of a guard is to extract from this state. However, we have also been able to uncover a new classification which can also be described as guardians but they also have their own specific role and thus actually belong categorically to the decoration, but with a completely different function. Exactly, but the topic is much more far-reaching. It's not just about these gods, but also about them. Deja vu, memories and time loops. I, I had a very interesting experience in relation to this. As a matter of fact, we have already produced a video discussing different types of déjà vu. Déjà vu. And now we know what the déjà vu is for, where it really is come from and what they are, what their true function actually is. Is. Yes, that's actually a very, very creepy story. I have to say what I experienced there. And yes, it's actually best if I just tell you what I experienced. And then we sort the things... I would like to express that I had an experience to share. Specifically, I had a dream. Yes, in fact, initially it was a completely ordinary dream. However, the dream scene then transitioned, and I desired to achieve lucidity. Lucid. And I incorporated an abstract element into my dream. For me, it's always strange toilet scenes, then suddenly there are people present, the toilet is outside, and... As the events unfolded, I started to feel a sense of suspicion creeping in. This feeling of suspicion grew so strong that I didn't become fully clear-headed, but rather entered a state of semi-lucidity. I became more conscious of the fact that something was amiss. Du warst auch da neben mir, die Toilette war plötzlich weg, denn es ging um etwas ganz wichtiges, etwas ganz anderes. Yes, we were standing Irgendwo im Grunen etwa zehn Meter vor uns war ein Tisch. Ein Mann lehnte sich daran, er kam mir so bekannt vor, also ging ich auf ihn zu. And so it's an acquaintance of ours, and it wasn't entirely clear to me. But it looked very familiar to me, and I thought I had to get it. So I took a step. A step. The next step was that I had déjà vu. While this déjà vu, which was only for a second, is a process expired which unfortunately my ego filtered so much that I missed it, don't really remember. However, while experiencing deja vu, I found myself entering into the realm of memory. 
As I delve into my memories, I find myself becoming lucid in my everyday life at the same time. This means that the complete hypnosis and amnesia that were imposed on us by the matrix have been completely lifted. At that particular moment, the complete reality was laid bare, revealing all its facets and intricacies. Moving forward in the subsequent phase, I will then... Step I was exposed. That was the problem. The next step I took was to approach this man. And at that moment, I had already given myself away that I was now... Suddenly, I'm absolutely lucid, 100% lucid in everyday life and completely out. I am out of this matrix hypnosis. At that moment, you also have no emotions, but then you act out the emotions. Emotions, and at that moment, I felt like I had to completely to be infuriated. I walked up to this man and slapped him. Das ist und typisch für mich, denn im Alltag wurde ich so etwas nie tun und setzen wurde empfinden. But at that moment, I thought I had to play rage now. It just happened like that, did that, and he was completely unimpressed. And it was immediately clear to me because reality was exposed, why that is, why he was completely unimpressed. Because sitting in front of me was not an ordinary man. In front of this guardian, we now call her Looper, we'll explain Looper to you shortly. Why? Because this man was a being from a higher dimension in an Edgar costume. You know, men in black, they wear costumes. Black, there's this alien, this one human costume on, Edgar costume, in human form. When you are lucid, everything is exposed. You recognize everything. You know then suddenly, du bist tatsächlich in diesem spezifischen Augenblick prasant. Having emerged from hypnosis, the individual within the matrix is currently experiencing the most profound level of hypnosis possible. Then you will... That's intense. Crazy. And this hypnosis serves to make you perceive the matrix in such a way, how you perceive them. We also talked about the fact that in dissociative suddenly sees the extras. Suddenly you realize that all the buildings are just sets, like in a Hollywood Western town. And then perceive these backdrops as really massive, real buildings. To be able to do this, it is important that the creator soul is in, is in a hypnotic state so they don't question it. And Shiva managed to overcome this hypnosis barrier in the dream breakthrough and get out of hypnosis. But then came across a looper or several. Genau in diesem Moment habe ich gesehen, dass noch zwei weitere Lupen vorhanden waren. Es war wirklich sehr spannend. Simply the moment when you are completely out of hypnosis and you see that everything is played, we're playing here, right now. This section, we are currently in Paraiso Verde, we are playing right here, Paraiso Verde community, that everything is played, that emotions are fake, that you actually just act as if, you act like you're going to the bathroom, you pretend you're carnivore or vegetarian, you act like you have a stomach ache, have everything, everything when you consider the concept, it becomes apparent that it is merely a role that you assume, and subsequently, all associated emotions dissipate. You simulate feelings of anger, shame, and guilt. All of this is an act. The only thing that isn't fake is true love, but that's another topic. Exactly. At that moment, everything is exposed. All roles, all games, everything is gone. It is gone. And then I went up to this guy and tried to get him out of there, reserved to lure, because I think... I don't know exactly, but wanted to know if he recognized that I was now completely lucid. Of course, it's a mistake. I'm not allowed to expose myself at all, but in, I did it at that moment. And then I asked. At that moment, I also knew that we were saying goodbye, and it was clear to me. Goodbye. Our lives are not structured chronologically, but in sections actually thematic. You'll see that there, too. And we're just playing the EPV section right now. We are currently inside. Then I realized that we were not playing this section for the first time. Time. And then I asked him directly, how often, how often? Have we played this here often? Here. And I was totally amazed because he straight up said, yeah, for just. And then, of course, I became, do you? At that moment, I knew they couldn't lie because everything is exposed. You just know. They can't lie at that moment. It's a law of the matrix. If you ask them about their true colors, they must show it to you. You show. And then he straight up said yes four times. And at that moment, I noticed that it was easy annoyed. Because the looper is responsible for, firstly, the reality here to maintain and provide entertainment. 
For example, he gives ideas like, yes, what examples can you use? So their role is to be responsible for generating ideas or initiating something, such as organizing a festival or arranging a barbecue, or something specific to work on or activities to engage in and so on. We always strive to inspire. Inspire. Yes, they try to inspire you that you don't get that in everyday life becomes boring. You can't relax, you can't go into silence, and is maximally distracted and stuck in this everyday reality. Yes, they are also responsible for carrying out the respective tasks, so to speak. When it comes to staging dramas, it's like orchestrating small conflicts between individuals, ensuring constant entertainment. Upon observation, I noticed that the loopers are the ones responsible for this and the frequency with which we have been sent back already four times. Four times already, at least in this section. Then I asked him why he keeps allowing this to happen that I remember again and again, always lucidly in everyday life, will I.E. fall out of hypnosis, and he thinks he can't stop it. It wasn't just a... He's not allowed to do it, he can't do it either. He cannot give me the ability of deja vu or memory take away. That's just my ability and he can't. And that may be the case for many people. In any case, I probably chose this ability in particular. Because the step of becoming lucid in everyday life is the first step. But without this, Step, you can't do any more taking steps to leave the matrix. Anyway, this might not be a particularly exciting skill, but somehow, when you look at it that way, it's suddenly pretty fascinating. Yes, so you utilized your deja vu to achieve lucidity. This is because through the deja vu, you recognized, oh, I have already experienced this scene. The experience is akin to passing through a portal. It's as if you are traversing a bridge and entering a portal. Once you have crossed over, there is no way to return back. The portal is closed, the bridge collapsed, or I don't know. If you're lucid in everyday life, you stay lucid. In everyday life, the only way to fall back again is... Back is the loopers. That's right, the loopers. If they notice that you have become lucid in everyday life, they suddenly appear, erase your memory. The memory remember that you have become a lucid then set yourself a specific one period back and make sure that you do. Not have this situation experienced again so that you can become an integral part of the matrix again. Stay. And that's why he was so annoyed, because of course he doesn't have to just put myself under hypnosis again, Miss Amnesia, and get myself in reset the time. No, he is required to completely reconstruct the entire reality of this section. This task applies not only to me, but to all individuals involved in this section, as it impacts everyone present. All the other attendees are also part of this section. And yes, it seems to me that this has been a significant effort. Either he does it technically or mentally. I don't know how he really does it. Recreates reality design. Firstly, the situation must not occur again. That means he has to think of something new. Then he has to use it all people do. Yes, I do believe that this is the reason why he was quite displeased. Yeah, he wasn't that keen on, he wasn't thrilled at all. And of course, when he says this has happened four times, he had to do the whole effort four times. Yes, but what's exciting is that we also had one a few years ago situation, and we were told that this section already played hundreds of times by both of us. So you can imagine how stupid we were that we have allowed us to be exposed again and again. But that's also the good thing, because after this experience, we now have talked about it intensively and also considered the possibilities. There are certain actions that one can take in order to prevent being exposed any further. It seems that I hadn't fully realized that until now. Even though I'm here in this everyday life, lucid here in this everyday life, we are, yes, energetically connected to all other realities, and maybe this information will help the alternative selves and the alternative realities. And yes, the trick is actually quite simple. It revolves around not getting exposed. Exposed, correct. And we also said that to the extras, if you are in the dissociative state comes and you see extras, you don't notice them. The subject is being observed. It is advised not to seek direct eye contact. Contact, and that's how it is with 
Dai walking on Dai Lupin and the loopers, that you don't make eye contact with the creatures here so that they don't realize that you are now in a heightened state of consciousness located. Furthermore, when one becomes lucid in their everyday life, it becomes even more crucial to continue playing their role and not drawing attention to themselves. When in a situation, it is important to observe the surroundings, refrain from seeking eye contact, and focus on gathering relevant information. In fact, this is the way in which one can achieve the ability to maintain lucidity in everyday life. Indeed, yes, my dream continued a bit further, or the situation did. It was as if suddenly I found myself back in bed. Once again, I found myself in my bed, which I found to be a very exciting experience. It was during this time that I became aware of the fact that both of our consciousnesses, the withdrawal took place, we had shared our consciousness, consciousness. So we both went into this reality once where I just... Lucidity became apparent in everyday life, and at the same time, we have our consciousness shared, and both went into a parallel reality where something similar probably took place. And the moment I got back to bed, and I felt like, seen in this way, four parts of consciousness have come back to us. That Jonathan brought me from the other reality into the reality where... I was now current, or we were both current, still called out, have you come to terms with this reality? That's why I found it very exciting that you brought this over to me, you telepathically, into the other reality. Because I was in that moment knew that we are trying to become lucid in multiple realities, and in particular, to break through these time loops, so that's very, very cool. Yes, then I woke up even more, my head turned to the left, it turned and still saw the reality in which I was currently lucid have become. So I still saw the meadow and this person, man, creature, wait, I saw it standing there. And then with an almost malicious expression, an inner expression, it dissolved before my eyes like, ha ha, I can... Do it, has dissolved and returned to its dimension. Yes, and then I only saw the meadow, and yes, the window, then it closed. So these beings have, these lupa have really blatant privileges here, right? Oh yes, definitely that. And at this point, you may ask yourself, was that just one dream that Shiva had there? Or is she actually, Lucy Dem, become everyday life? The lupa appeared, reset the memory, and then proceeded to put it back into bed at this point in time. The reality at this point to let the time loop begin again and everything they still remember could was just a dream. But it worked for me. I was already very lucid, so for, it didn't seem like a dream to me at all, only the experience was quite thrilling. Firstly, I administered a blow and then I aimed to attain a clearer understanding. And to become clearer, I try to understand things very precisely. Usually my vision is a bit blurry, but in a cloudy dream it's clear. Clear. And to become even more lucid, I'm very close to the face of the man. Really so close and tried very carefully to him to recognize and focus. But that also left him completely unimpressed, just like them slapping everything else. It doesn't surprise me either, because he knew exactly that he would send soon me back. He wasn't impressed that I was actually here too still. I wanted to become lucid. Even though I was already lucid in every day, I was just connected with my consciousness, but I wanted to experience it completely lucidly. He didn't care at all. I thought it was cool. Yes, you'll take a lot of knowledge with you after this one experience. Suddenly, for example, I also have a voice in my head that tells me, constantly says, so if we want to leave the matrix, we need, yes, lots, 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 energy. At this moment, I am able to perceive and comprehend the entirety of my surroundings and all that is within it. That costs us energy. It's not just about food, every conversation, every thought, everything is useless. That's so incredibly much. And yes, with everyone now, my voice always says, waste of energy. And yes, if I listened to that voice right now, I would be lonely in a cave with you and would just dissociate. Because it's not just through dissociation that you can do a lot, accumulate energy, also because you are no longer so active. You are involved in everyday life. So you withdraw a little, meditate, and 
The original text suggests that the action described is quite impactful in terms of energy accumulation. It emphasizes the minimal effort required and the significant energy saving potential. The translated text conveys the idea that the action is highly effective in gathering energy, requires minimal effort, and has the potential to save a substantial amount of energy. So it's amazing. The reason why it is crucial to remain in a dissociative state or even achieve lucidity in everyday life is because it should not be disclosed to anyone. Know this from dreams, for example, when you become lucid and then maybe you're sitting there with a friend and then you realize if I'm lucid, I can now tell my friend that he is lucid. And then you talk on one and try in the dream to make it clear, hey, this is... In this dream, refrain from engaging with trivial matters. Recognize that it is a dream and nothing more. Historically, such endeavors have often led to a loss of one's own lucidity. At that moment, I am reminded that if you achieve lucidity in your daily life, it is crucial that you do not disclose it to anyone. You should keep it to yourself and not draw attention to it at all with anyone. Even if it's your best friend, you should keep it to yourself. So kannst du den Zustand aufrechterhalten? Deshalb empfehle ich, auch in luciden Traumen keine aktive Lucidität zu praktizieren. That means you suddenly start creating, you get something his favorite actor and flirts with him or something. You shouldn't do anything at all, but rather in a lucid dream, important to practice passive lucidity. In essence, this signifies that one observes and actively participates in their role within the dream, all the while benefiting from the advantage of being fully conscious and aware. And this is how you can learn optimally in a dream. Learning to deal with your perception, to deal with your clarity, and of course then collect all the interesting information, one that would normally be fully functioning, inactive. Lucidity, exactly, that is the next step, because once you are lucid, you have complete clarity. Think because nothing is disguised anymore, and then you can really think for the first time, so without the one who always doubts, evaluates, judges, intervenes, etc., you have a clear, simple way of thinking, a kind of universal logic which you also need. You need this mind because, as I said, that's just it, first step. And then it's about collecting information, evaluate, analyze in order to plan what to do next can and must be worked out in order to leave the Ja matrix. Even a guard, for example, if he would recognize that you are in a heightened state of consciousness with the help of spiritual. If you are in dissociation, he will ensure that you get out of it. Condition comes out. And on occasion, there might also be a certain effect that instills fear, scares. And then you have this experience with the dissociation. Suddenly a fear experience is linked to it, which you can remember afterwards maybe makes the dissociation a little more difficult to reach. And that's why it's important to stay in the observer, not to become active. I also found it exciting in this state that you don't have any evaluation, that you no longer have any emotions. That means you're actually out of duality, which has changed united, so to speak. You see, there is no good and evil, never existed. An action is just an action. It stays. It's just the way it is. And emotions disappear because every emotion is one assessment is. When you experience a situation that you perceive as positive, push you express this through an emotion. Or if you experience a situation that you perceive as negative, you express it through an emotion. Emotions are evaluations and then they fall away because their duality disappears. And that is very pleasant, very exciting in any case. Es war eine äußerst faszinierende Erfahrung, sich von der Dualität zu lösen und sich über sie zu erheben. And then to recognize how everything interacts with each other, that everything is just interpretations of sequences of experiences that we perceive. And beyond that, you can always become clearer in your head. All the dualistic thoughts you have in your head then fall away away. And that is very liberating and also reduces energy waste. Yes, I also got apart from this experience. Perhaps only a small fraction of it was taken away. I've had situations here where suddenly people have exposed or who have disguised themselves and I was able to 
When you are able to recognize it immediately, it was a very exciting experience. Yes, it's truly beautiful to witness the reality. Ohne Tarnung, ich freue mich sehr darauf, wenn wir irgendwann vollständig zu 100% drin sind und nichts mehr getarnt ist. At this point, it is possible that some individuals may find themselves feeling surprised and thinking. Upon hearing this, one might wonder about the desire to embody lucidity in everyday life, while simultaneously aiming to avoid drawing attention, yet openly discussing it on video. What could be the underlying motivation for such behavior? As previously mentioned, it is of no interest to guardians or loopers what you are talking about. Talk. What you say doesn't interest them at all. I experienced that and was completely unimpressed. Completely unimpressed, they are entirely indifferent. They do not care in the slightest. Their interest is solely focused on the active moment when you find yourself in this state. That's all they care about. And they want to prevent this situation. When you're out of the situation again, you can tell what you want, if you want. They're not interested, so it's important to simply learn to use deja vu when you has this ability. If you don't have it, there are definitely other options at some point becoming lucid in everyday life that we don't know. We only know two ways to become lucid at some point. Deja vu or just step by step, which is what everyone actually does. Gradually become lucid. Or perhaps there is another alternative that we should consider at this point. Now, yes, those are the two options, right? Either you do it step by step, like many of you do, most likely also trying to become lucid in everyday life or just all at once. I also found it very exciting how you described that you are in three steps, not steps of steps. However, it's not just any steps, but rather the specific steps that you have taken. With my feet. With your feet, you have revealed the entirety of reality within three steps, which amounts to a mere three seconds. In just three seconds, he exposed me. But to be fair, I also gave myself away pretty quickly. Quickly, too. Yes, what are you actually doing? Here, yes, what are you crazy? Why are you doing this? Why are you sending me back in the time? The repetitive nature of deja vu also demonstrates its rather mundane characteristic, which in fact possesses an entirely different drawback. Namely, the experience of deja vu is the key to becoming lucid in everyday life. You know, we used to... You told me that about Terence McKenna, who was with them DMT elves was, and they always said that the deja vu is the portal to leave the matrix. And they always did. Deja vu, deja vu, deja vu. And I always wondered, and I said, I have so much deja vu, how can I leave the matrix? Now I know, I know, now you know for sure. And yes, that was also a nice note from Terence McKenna. These machine elves are already much further along in their consciousness. Or when we always shouted deja vu, deja vu, they always shouted that after him when he had to leave again, as a hint, so to speak. Think about the deja vu. That's the key. And that also explains why many people who have deja vu always ask yourself, what can you actually do with such an... I'm walking somewhere and suddenly I have a deja vu. And at this moment one realizes that deja vu has a lot more potential than one would expect when experiencing it. Suspect. They're also a little scary because deja vu means that you took another time loop and like us partially up to a thousand times. However, it is important to acknowledge that similar to all things in life, they also possess a flip side. Yes, that's correct. Yes, it's amazing. Naturally, we also didn't hesitate to consider whether we might find a great film or series where this aspect is somewhat present. There. And then we... We watched this six months ago from the perspective of the matrix reincarnation cycle. Now we look at this series with completely different eyes. Oh yeah, the series is called Good Place. The content of this series revolves around the concept of a woman who, after passing away, ascends to the realm of heaven. And there she will be received in heaven and so on, namely on Good Place. And then they also say, hey, you did it. Your good place came. This series delves into a wide array of concepts, including the manipulation of time loops, time travel, and alternate levels of reality, among other things. Die Serie ist auch sehr lustig. Es gibt reelle komische Elemente, würde ich sagen. Trotzdem ist sie wirklich gut gemacht. 
und ja, wir müssen sagen, dass die Person, die diese Serie geschrieben hat, entweder sehr intuitive war oder bereits irgendwo die Nachtigall hat singen hören. We don't know. Lucidity in everyday life is also an element of it, so to speak. Not exactly as we have described it now, but quite similar. Similar, yes. So the series tip for us, what the video and the topic now concerns with deja vus and Lucy become everyday life with Looper and Guardians and the like. We recommend the series The Good Place. The Good Place is definitive eine großartige Serie, die es sich lohnt anzuschauen. Ich empfehle sie sehr und denke, dass sie euch gefallen wird. Schaut sie euch unbedingt an. Yes, I believe that we still have the capability to continue. We continue to discuss this topic for hours. In any case, we talked about it for hours and days. I also wrote something about it. If you are interested, you can also read it. In this case, the content becomes more elaborate. It will be transformed into a guest article on your blog, and you can read it on Matrix Blogger. Die. We will also publish this on Matrixer.com in the members area. This article, which is probably seven or eight pages long, has become very detailed. Long time. And yes, that is really an elementary part of the Matrix to be able to leave, and an important step. And then the others, Great experience. At least you were able to bring some of the deleted memories into everyday life. Life, and I don't want to know how many hundreds of times this hasn't happened, managed to even include a scene from the deleted sequences over to save. However, this time you have been able to successfully preserve several sequences. And that is certainly impressive. Great. So I also wondered why I it probably wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for me at least become prelicit. As I reflect on it, I realize that there was a part of me that felt compelled to ensure the preservation of that. So, yes, absolutely. Indeed, the entire topic is quite fascinating. We were of the opinion that it was imperative for us to convey this video to you. You. So you also have another category of figures in the matrix. Get to know the ones that exist here, namely the loopers. We put in a significant amount of effort to come up with the name. I inquired about the English translation of Zeitschleifen, and he responded with time loops, and then added looper. Simple but cool. Exact, short, and sweet. However, it sounds quite pleasing. The sound is already cool, yes, but just belong to the category guardians of the matrix. Yes. Dear friends, I hope you're all doing well. I wanted to discuss an intriguing topic with you. Unfortunately, our time for broadcasting has come to an end. Indeed, we express our gratitude to you, as always, for tuning in. We also greatly appreciate receiving comments from you, sharing any similar experiences you may have had. Things. How do you deal with deja vu? What did you see in deja vu? Have you noticed any creatures that you might come across that Lupa might associate? And, and, and we look forward to your... In response to your feedback, I want to express my agreement by saying exactly. Furthermore, I would like to extend my heartfelt wishes for all the best to you. I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. I look forward to seeing you again soon.